one. Hello, guys. Now, now I'm here with the mnemonic for hairy cell leukemia, and it is the neoplastic proliferation of mature B cell, right? And um, it's a chronic leukemia. And here in my mnemonic, first I'll explain what is the scene. It, you can see a hairy man, a middle-aged hairy man behind the bars. And he's holding a big burger and an empty glass. And he's basically behind the bars. And there is an officer wearing a satin pant having two CDs in a in his hand and the name of the officer is clad and he's saying that I will treat you badly to that hairy man behind the bars so let's start discussing it as I mentioned before that um, hairy cell leukemia is a neoplastic proliferation of mature B cells right so um, you can see uh, here and that i have made a mature man with the mustache right showing mature b cell right and um and we all know that um men are more hairy than women right so hairy cell leukemia most often occurs in middle aged men as in made a middle aged man very much hairy behind the bars right so what are the characteristics of the these mature b cells so they have hairy cytoplasmic processes that's why this leukemia is called hairy cell leukemia because uh, they have filaments inside their cytoplasm and that is shown by too much hair on the head and beard and the hair on the body of this man right so if next important point is when you are going to stain these cells they will be stained positive with a stain called trap so trap stands for the tartrate resistant acid phosphatase and um, and that is shown by the this uh, trapped behind the bars right so it's positive for the trap stain and uh, clinically um, how this hairy cell leukemia will present so there are two important features that this uh, leukemia is going to present one is that it when you go for the bone marrow tap you will get a dry tap right and the other thing is um, that in hairy cell leukemia you get the splenomegaly right so dry tap and splenomegaly. So uh, why you get the dry tap? Because mm, there is bone marrow fibrosis. So because of that fibrosis, you are gonna get dry tap. And uh, the important thing about splenomegaly, which is very high yield, normally what occurs that um, whenever you get the chronic leukemia, the cells go to your lymph nodes lymphoid tissue and uh, that leads to lymphadenopathies and splenomegaly all these things so important um, point about splenomegaly in hairy cell leukemia is that the splenomegaly in hairy cell leukemia is due to the accumulation of mature b cells in the red bulb right it's not in the white bulb and this is very high yield and it's also shown by the color of the burger i made it read intentionally to show that splenomegaly is due to the accumulation of mature B lymphocytes in the red bulb. And uh, one more high yield point about this is normally, as I mentioned, that when you get chronic leukemia, these lymph lymphoid cells, lymphocytes, sorry, lymphocytes are going to accumulate in your lymphoid tissue as. Um, I mentioned in the video of CLL, there's a diffused lymphadenopathy and splenomegaly, right? So, but in hairy cell leukemia, you're not going to get lymphadenopathy. Why? 
this is shown um, by the mnemonic behind the bars, right? Because the B cells are trapped in the bone marrow because there's bone marrow fibrosis and B cells are unable to go, uh, come out and go into the lymph nodes. So there's no lymphadenopathy associated with hairy cell leukemia because B cells are trapped behind the bars and they are trapped in the bone marrow. So no lymphadenopathy, right? So important point is in hairy cell leukemia, you get dry tap because of the bone marrow fibrosis. And because of this fibrosis, you're not going to see any lymphadenopathy, right? And the other important thing is splenomegaly in hairy cell leukemia is due to accumulation of lymph mature B lymphocytes in the red pulp, right? Now we come to the treatment of hairy cell leukemia. The hairy cell leukemia gives excellent response to, to CDA that is shown by the officer clad to CDA the name of the drug is cladribine so um, it responds well to cladribine so what is the mechanism um, of this drug actually um, cladribine is adenosine deaminase inhibitor right and as uh, you know um, in skids, we also have um, deficiency in enzyme adenosine deaminase. As a result, adenosine accumulates in the cells and that kills your cells. So basically, you are giving skids to these malignant cells by inhibiting adenosine, adenosine deaminase. And as a result, toxic amounts of adenosine will accumulate in the neoplastic B cells and ultimately these neoplastic B cells will die. And the other important drug for hairy cell leukemia is um, pentostatin, right? And that is shown by the satin pant that this officer clad is wearing, right? So uh, a brief, um, briefly I can, uh, say that hairy cell leukemia is shown by this hairy man behind the bars having big spleen like burger and an empty glass showing dry tap and the officer clad is saying I will treat you badly and he's wearing satin pants right so these are the important high yield points about hairy cell leukemia and um, don't forget to like and share my video thank you very much